Hey guys, what's going on? Chad, RC Models and more back here with you. And we're doing a Gobi 210 build. And I thought it would be a great time to show a basic introductory video on using the Betaflight configurator as well as the new Betaflight 3.0. So when we open up the new Betaflight configurator, uh, everything looks pretty much the same as Cleanfly does documentation support. Here's where you flash your firmware um, on my seriously Dodo flight controller. I am using um, an SP Racing uh, firmware. So let's go ahead and connect up to the Gobi. And as you can see, everything pretty much looks the same. You got your basic calibrates and buttons here and everything. Your second tab is all of your ports for your UART, um, where you can see I'm actually using UART 2 and 3 as well, one for telemetry and one for the S bus. So that's all pretty much the same. Um, if we go to configuration, this is where we start to see some changes. Um, here you can actually select what ESC protocol that you plan on using. All of your different values for minimum and maximum throttle. If we scroll down, everything here still basically looks the same as clean flight where you can set up your transmitter, scroll on down. Um, here's where some things are different. Um, instead of using various CLI commands for things, you can actually change loop times and turn off accelerators and barometers and stuff uh, right here with uh, click commands. And down here, of course, you can turn on your telemetry and everything else. Next tab is your fail-safe settings. This is all pretty standard in the new uh, Clean Flight. Nothing really different there. Um, let's see. We'll skip around. Modes is obviously still the same. This is where you can assign all of your different switches. Adjustments is all pretty much the same. Uh, servos, motors for ESC calibration, black box, and of course you still have a CLI command editor. Um, we start with the receiver tab. You can see things are a little bit different here uh, because basically you do not have your receiver RC controls here anymore. They used to be somewhere around here. So basically, you still go in here and set everything up, your midpoints and everything else um, on your transmitter. But then when you go to PID tuning, this is where everything gets a lot different. If we look now, you have different profiles, rate profiles and regular profiles, as well as two PID controllers, Legacy and Betaflight. I have elected to go ahead and use the new Betaflight, which is a combination of the old stuff. And if we look at all of your PIDs, you can also see now that your RC rates, your rates, and your expo is all here, and it all shows you a nice graph. And if you basically make changes, you can see the graph actually start to change. And if you scroll down, so we have super expo rates and everything that we can turn on and off as well. If you scroll down more, you can actually see a rates preview. So basically, I'm moving my switch and I can see kind of a close example of how everything will actually move. 
So that's all pretty neat. But this is just a basic setup. I'm, I've actually test flown my Gobi 210 4S with these stock PIDs and it flies pretty good. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments to the tuning and everything like that. Uh, but uh, I have changed uh, the rates a little bit and actually added the Expo, which I need to actually click that up a little bit. Um, the thing to keep in mind is with RC Expo now and Super Expo, it's a little bit different, so we don't add in the super amounts of Expo that we used to use. As you can see the curve here, it's pretty flat, and we can keep making that flatter and flatter and flatter, but as you do that, you see that at the end, it really jumps up big time. So we're going to leave that back down to about where it was. So all in all, that is pretty much it when it comes to Betaflight 3.0 and the configurator. And as I learn more, I will let you guys know. If you got any questions, let me know. And I'll try some things out. Until later.